Hi, I'm Elson Haas. As a doctor, I need to understand the cause of an illness or condition before I can treat it effectively. I'm talking here about the real underlying causes of disease, not just superficial ones. I have devoted my career to this discovery as well as an entire chapter to this important topic in my latest book, Staying Healthy with New Medicine. I believe that cellular dysfunction is one of the main causes of body imbalance, inflammation, and disease. The health of our cells is affected adversely by two primary factors. One, deficiency, by which I mean not enough of the necessary nutrients, and two, toxicity, from contact and exposure to many harmful man-made chemicals that our body must deal with as foreign matter. The nutrients we need include vitamins, minerals, amino acids from proteins, fatty acids, some carbohydrates, and phytonutrients. Any deficiency of these diminish cellular function. The external environment has a significant impact on our cell health from the level of contaminants, chemicals, and toxins in the foods we eat, the water we drink, and the air we breathe, to the products we use in our homes and gardens or put on our bodies. In fact, personal care products are one of the most common yet overlooked sources of environmental toxicity. There are just so many chemically-based products for all kinds of purposes these days. The average adult uses nine personal care products a day, exposing them to as many as 126 chemical ingredients. What makes things worse is that items like toothpaste, shampoo, lotion, makeup, or deodorant are not held to the same standard as food or drugs, which we put in our bodies. Hair coloring is potentially one of the most toxic of all, linked to increased rates of breast cancer, as suggested in a recent 2017 Rutgers University study. This is especially troubling given that an estimated 75% of U.S. women over age 18 color their hair. Obviously, we need to know more about the short and long-term health implications of using these kinds of products. In addition, many cosmetics are now imported with virtually no regulation or inspection. The FDA recently stated that they had just six inspectors for three million shipments last year from over 180 different countries and 29,000 foreign companies. Clearly, this is an area where we all need to pay close attention to what we buy and what we use. A great resource I recommend is the Environmental Working Group's online cosmetic database, ewg.org. This is all part of living more naturally, using fewer chemicals on and in our bodies and in our surroundings. This involves a conscientious reduction in the use of synthetically made and petrochemically based products, which has a downstream effect in both our local and global environments. This shift to a more natural lifestyle is growing across our nation and the globe and is based largely on the same principles as I write about in New Medicine, taking personal responsibility for our health and for the planet and recognizing the incredibly complex interactions between the decisions we make, the products we use, and their effect upon our entire environment and ecosystem, including our own health. Look for more on this important topic in my blog at elsenhaasmd.com. Stay healthy.